Hey everyone, how is it going today? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. We are continuing with some space exploration and Crash Theorio 2. And we are going to continue working on our setup for astronomic science. Um, we obviously have all of our telescopes set up. We have our first few astro astrometrics uh, facilities set up uh, for the uh, data cards. However, um, we uh, have a few more things to do. The first of which we do need to do um, microwave observation frames and uh, X-ray observation frames. So we need to make X-ray telescopes and microwave telescopes. Now, to do that, um, we are going to need some aeroframe frame poles. So if we look at this, uh, this gravimetrics facility needs. Oh wait, not this gravit. Well, both of these, all three of these actually need gravit. Uh, Need gravimetrics. They need aeroframe poles. Um, we do have barrel, and we do have iron up here, so I believe that we can do this up here. Um, I don't want to do too much, so this is just going to be a temporary setup, just um, just to get some of these buildings built. I think, yeah, yeah. And then we'll do our real aeroframe um, production down on Novice. Uh, let's see, what is this? Barrel and iron. Okay, just checking, just checking. Okay, iron sticks. There we go. And honestly, I'm just going to grab iron, and I'm going to grab, oops, what the frig, that's not what I, I don't know how that even happened, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, we are going to grab iron, we are going to grab barrel, and we are just going to do this. And um, we do need quite a few poles, so like if we look at this, this needs 120 for one, and we need six of these. This needs 60, and we need um, one of these. I think it's just one. Um, yeah, just one of those. And then we also need two of these gravimetrics facilities, uh, which is also 80. So quite a lot. Um, holy crap, what the? F Dude, am I gonna have to go back over here again? Oh, the, the biters spawned literally right, oh my God. All right guys, I will be right back. I have to go deal with biters again, man. This is... <laughs> This is like the 1800th time, and I am incredibly done with um, having to deal with these biters. I don't know what's up. Um, so yeah, I'll be back. Okay guys, we are back. Uh, I, 
This ended up taking me probably about a half hour of time. Um, the first thing which you saw in the time lapse is I actually um, dealt with the biters, of course, and then I went back to fix Vulcanite. Obviously, we can't have Vulcanite not working for any amount of time, really. So I fixed that, did Vulcanite, and then I waited for the rocket to fill up again, um, which uh, took quite a while um, uh, because uh, I was mostly trying to wait for as much Vulcanite as possible. Unfortunately, we did not get that much Vulcanite. We ended up with way more raw Immersite, unfortunately, but such is life. Um, so this is, you know, we'll, we'll uh, obviously use all the Immersite, so I'm not upset about it. Just we are so short on Vulcanite that um, I am definitely going to have to up the production of that in the very, very near future um, because we chew through Pyroflux like it's nobody's business. I mean, check this out. Pyroflux, right? Like if we look at the last hour, we've used 500,000 almost, and we've made just a little bit less. So we're actually using more Pyroflux than we're making currently. Um, yeah, check that out. Lots and lots and lots and lots of Pyroflux used. Um, we've made 17 million Pyroflux so far. Um, so a lot of people actually, just a quick note, a lot of people um, don't use the production statistics that much except to like look at like um, the different numbers of like ooh let's go look at all and see how much stuff we've made uh, but the reality is is that you can see very interesting trends of what's going on if you're looking like if you're trying to debug issues in your base like uh, if I were trying to let's say debug pyroflux let's say or not not pyroflux I mean Vulcanite right Vulcanite so um, looking at like 10 minutes is okay. It can see, you can see like, you know, these are probably trains, uh, coming in, um, and things like that. So, you know, you can see kind of when, you know, the, the, uh, cadence of how things are going. Um, but here in probably one, starting in one hour, especially, well, 10 hours is maybe a little bit long, but especially one hour you can see very interesting trends. And even even look at this, like this is a 10 hour trend, right? So this blue is Vulcanite. You can see a, a significant downward trend of um, Vulcanite being produced. And then this is where I fixed the, um, you know, the, the mines. This is where I added a bunch of miners doing Vulcanite. And then um, this is, not sure what this jump is. I think this might've been me adding even more miners. And then this is obviously the biters attacking there. And then this is it starting back up again. But you can see this downward trend as it, the mine started to run out of resources. Um, so I'm, I think that one of the things that I'm going to be doing in the very near future um, is moving to core mining for Vulcanite. Um, but I have to do some figuring out on that. But we do have a planet that has um, that's a uh, Vulcanite core. So I think that that's probably what we're going to do. That way we don't see these downward trends. That way it's constant. Um, so yeah, that's, that's gonna kind of be the future here. Um, but in the meantime, let us, uh, quickly get rid of some stuff. Um, and what we're gonna do, actually, before we go back up to space, we're gonna do a couple things. Um, uh, cause I was gonna have to come down to the surface anyways this episode, uh, to do a handful of things. Wow, we've got a lot of this stuff in here. Holy crap. Um, we're gonna work on aeroframe poles down here. Might as well. Um... So let's do that. Uh, where should we do some aeroframe poles? Maybe we can just do like a little section right over here. Um, this section isn't being used, and we don't. It doesn't need to be crazy. All right, so we got assembly machine threes, and let's see. This is going to be uh, aeroframe poles, and let's see. Uh, what is the ratio here? This is taking. This is one second, and it takes one stick to plate. Okay, how many sticks can we make? We can make two. In, okay, so we can do maybe something like this. One of these buildings should be able to support four pole makers, right? Because it, it these only take one in one second, and this takes uh, this makes two in half a second, so it can supply four. Um, so let's see. Uh, I would like to get rid of a few things in my requests, 
Okay, now I can request stuff. Um, and then we can module or uh, beacon it like this. And then let's see, we need, um, how are we gonna do this? This is gonna be kind of interesting. Requesters. Uh, requester, requester, provider, 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 provider. Okay. Very interesting little build here. I think we'll probably do two of the, uh, no, just, nah, just one of them. Just one of them is fine. Uh, we, we're not going to need that many arrow, arrow frame pulls. Uh, obviously, we do need some, but uh, sh 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 let's see here. Oh, also, I don't know why I brought these centrifuges really quickly. I don't know why I brought these centrifuges back. I don't need them. I'm going to send them back over to Salamene. Um, they can, you know, they can sit over there just in case we need them for whatever. Um, okay, so I got my uh, modules now. Do, 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 do. There we go. And let's see. Stack inserter in, 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 in. Okay. And then this is just going to be barrel. Surely this has to be more like... Well, actually, you know what? I wonder what happens if I power it. Like, is it going to be more now? Yeah, it's going to be more. That's very interesting, um, how it doesn't take into account the speed until everything's powered, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Okay. Uh, we got a RoboPort here. Very cool. Uh, out, 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 out. What is this missing? Oh, I guess I should do uh, inserters here. Okay, yeah, yeah. We need a lot of iron plates, obviously. And we don't want to make um, too many poles. We're just going to do it like this. Um, we are going to grab a bunch of them before we go up to space, though. And speaking of things that we want to grab, um, <laughs> we definitely want to grab this signal transmitter. Let's grab... How many do we want? Oh, let's just grab two, just in case. Um, yeah, we don't need more than that. You know, what I really should do at some point is work on replacing all of the uh, modules in my base. Because uh, most of them down here, down this di direction, are level 2. And we can make them um, level 3. I mean, it's not a huge productivity boost, but, you know, any boost is better than no boost. Um, okay. So, what the heck are we waiting on? Um, beryllium. Let's make this, like, 8. Uh, how much barrel do we have in our network? Barrel. We have 10,000 plates. Okay. Um, also, we have 66,000 iron ore and 20,000 copper ore. Probably should uh, figure out something to do with all that. And we have 25,000 iron ingots. Good God. <laughs> Jeez, man. We have a lot of stuff. We also have uh, 1,000 tritium, or tritium, however you say that. Very, uh, it's quite, it's quite a lot. But, uh, this iron ore is from all the dirty water processing that we've been doing. I think? Or what, what is this from? Oh, no, actually, this is from, um, uranium processing. I think. I don't know. Where is all that copper coming from, though? I'm not sure on that one, to be honest. Oh, I think it's coming from this. A combination of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a combination of this um, scrap um, processing and also the uranium processing. Uranium gives us iron and stone. And this gives us iron, stone, and copper. So yeah, it's it's definitely a, com it's a combination of both. Um, that's cool. Um, so we, uh, we, should, we should really figure out something to do with all that at some point. Um, what the heck is this stuff waiting on? Just barrel? Alright, well, we're, we're just gonna grab all the poles that we have and let them build, whatever. I'm not, like, too upset about it. Uh, how many do we have? 
100, 200, 300. Okay, we need a little bit more than that. Let's up this request to 20. Okay, there we go. Um, so let's see, any other uh, things that we need to do while we're down here in terms of our astronomic science? So let's just take a look at Factory Planner once more. Just, you know, just want to be sure. Uh, uh, let's see. I don't think we can make these. We cannot make these down here. So that's, can't do anything about that. Can't do anything about that. Uh, we're going to have to increase oil. Aeroframe scaffolds we can't even make yet. Okay, I think that's actually everything that we needed to do down here. Um, one of the things... Oh yeah, now, now these are working for sure. Um, one of the things that we are definitely going to have to do here in the very near future is we are going to have to increase... Um, oil production. As you can see, like, uh, sulfur is not a full belt. And I think that honestly, well, so this crude oil, we're not, we're not blowing through the crude oil. Obviously all of our refineries are working and everything. Um, we just can't make enough stuff right now. I like even adding, we could possibly add more refineries down this direction and pipe everything back up, which is maybe what we'll end up doing. Um, like, I, I don't know that I want to do it in a whole extra train stop making oil products. So what we'll probably be doing here in very near future is adding a bunch of oil refineries down this way and piping it up. And then probably going to have to, we'll probably have a, like a stop over here for oil. Um, and we're probably gonna have to add some more pump jacks because, let's see, how's this oil doing? Well, it still says 40 million here, but I, I would guess that these, oh, these still expect like 20 million res, how, how, do these, how do these expect so many resources? I don't understand. It's so, like, this says expected resources 50 million, but when I, uh, for that one pump, right? But when I mouse over this, it says 40 million for literally all of the oil spots. Like, I don't understand that. Like this is 20 million here in this one crude oil patch, but when I mouse over everything, it says ah, whatever. Maybe it's so much oil that it just can't comprehend it, um, which is probably not the case, but whatever. All right, so we got a ton of airframe poles now, um, which is hopefully enough for us. Let us uh, get back over here. Uh, let's see, where am I going? My brain has stopped working. Okay, does this thing need to go anywhere? Probably not, uh, but it's the only rocket that's ready to go up to space-ish. So we're going to take it, I think. Uh, wait a second. Well, I was going to say this rocket, but <laughs> there's not literally nothing in it, so there's literally no reason to take it. So we might as well just take this one. Okay, so let's take this up to space. And, uh, yeah. Very loud on the ears there for a moment, but we're all good. All right, so we land here. Uh, shoot, this is not the landing pad for this, man. Oh my gosh, it's named the same thing. Ah, I'm a, I'm so stupid. Okay, well, uh, now we're gonna have to deal with all that. Very nice, that's fun. Okay, this is astronomic science <laughs> shoot what a dumb mistake you know honestly uh all right well that is a big mistake at least we need lube i suppose so we'll keep the lube over here uh what do we need lube for we need it for uh multi-spectral mirrors that's fine all right so we'll put all the lube in here uh lubricant so many green barrels like it's kind of crazy okay that's lube. That's fine. I suppose. I suppose I've had worse. Although I will say. Oh, at least there's no. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw all the airframe poles in. We're just gonna throw all of our stuff except. We're not gonna do this. 
except for uh, where's my life support? Okay, we need life support, obviously. And <laughs> that would be bad to leave that behind. Now we're gonna do this and we're just gonna fly this over. So let me just fly everything over to the other landing pad and I'll be right back. Okay, so that actually wasn't too bad. Um, it's not the end of the world by any means. Um, it just took like a minute, so we're all good there. Okay, um, obviously now we have our little transmitter here. This, uh, we're gonna change the channel obviously to be astronomics, science, wait, wait. Didn't I? Come on. Did I not? Yeah, I already cha I already have uh, that channel set up. Okay, astronomic science. There we go. And actually, oh shoot, man, I'm probably just like making messes of things, aren't I? Like down here now. Like this is probably gonna be full of crap I don't need, isn't it? Maybe not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Shoot, man. Ah, what a mess. This is full of things that are not needed because of that. Ah, oh, that was so dumb. All right, guys. Well, I'm making lots of mistakes here. Uh, showing you what not to do. Oh, boy. Um, what I'm probably going to end up doing is sending this up to this landing pad. <laughs> with all these things because this is just gonna make an absolute mess of things but this at least should be filling up with the things that we need it to now which it is but i i am just making an absolute mess of all my resources they're all going to the wrong places basically if you don't understand what happened this was on the wrong channel sending the wrong need or sending these needs to the wrong receiver that receiver was putting stuff like telling my um requester what to put into the rocket so it requested the wrong things to put into the rocket, and now that rocket is, has mixed stuff that it doesn't need. So, what a mess, but whatever, man. Um, okay. That is that is fine. It's not the end of the world. We'll survive. I'll just have to clean up a bunch of crap. Um, manually, of course, which really sucks, but um, you live and you learn, right? Okay. So, I've got airframe poles now. Very cool. Ah, just, it's always something, isn't it? Okay, let's put down, and I, for, I forgot all my stuff down on the surface, too. It's just, it's just one of those days, man. It's just one of those days. All right, so we got to grab more stuff now, which, whatever, it's fine. Uh, let's see, what the freak can I get rid of? All right, let's get rid of these things. We're obviously going to be using a bunch of these airframe poles, so it's not a big deal. Um, all right, let's put that down. We need to make six of these. Ready? One. That's one. <laughs> that is one. Uh, we should have. Yeah, We've got some of these. Let's grab those. Uh, oh, we need a bunch of glass. Uh, we got glass here. One, two, of course, low densities, three, four, five, six. Wait, did I count? Can I count? Yeah, that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's what we needed. Yep. Uh, we only need one of these. One telescope, nice. And then we need two gravimetrics facilities, right? Oh, wait, that's for later. Or is it? No, 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 just kidding, it's not. <laughs> okay, we don't, we do need two of these, yeah, yeah. Uh, more low densities, of course, classic. Always using like a million low densities whenever you make any buildings. One, two, okay. Those are all the buildings that we needed. We still have extra arrow frames, which is good. Um, because we can use those over here. Let us, before I fly over there, uh, let's grab splitters, let's grab belts. Let's grab half a stack of loaders. Wow, these look low res for some reason. Maybe it's just my eyes going from staring at my screen all day, every day, basically. Uh, 
and undergrounds. Let's grab one stack of undergrounds. Okay. We're making progress, guys. It is slow, but it is sure. Um, and I am super excited for where this um, playthrough is going, man. And, uh, you know, all the stuff that's going to be happening as soon as we can start this base up a little bit. Um, but okay, so let's throw the extra arrow frame holes in here because... Oops. Ooh. Universe. Hello. Um, what am I doing, man? I need... I wish that there was a hotkey for this. Maybe there is, and I just don't know it. Okay. We need arrow frame poles for this. Okay. So I guess that'll be right over here-ish. Ish. I don't know. So I guess we can put arrow frame poles on this. Okay. That's arrow frame poles done. Um, all right. So how exactly is this going to work? Right. So this is making blank observation frames, right? Let us put down... Oh my god, these things are huge. I need to put down six of these? My goodness. Okay, let's double check. So I need, I do need to module and beacon these, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Just making sure, you know. All right, so, yeah. Just, 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 just double checking, just double checking. Okay, so we need to leave a little bit of room. Let's see, if we do it here, right? We have two spaces, one for pipe, one for something else if we want. Uh, the question is, is, can we fit, and we can fit one of these in here, nice. But this probably can only hit two. That sucks. And these things are so big. Right, this is, oh, that can go there, nice, okay. So that's two, right? Okay. Um... I mean, I, I don't know why I assumed they would be smaller, but I guess I'm wrong. Actually, this can kind of hit four, right? Like this. And then we would just need to, like, copy one set and move it over or something. That looks fine. And actually, so what we can do then is we could have like this x-ray telescope over here and then one of these and then this yeah, yeah okay we can hit all of them i think that's cool just trying to save some modules while we're up here um okay i have no pipes so we're, we're gonna have to grab pipes here in a second but that's fine so belt wise though right these are doing microwaves obviously since they're microwave telescopes uh, let's put all the warm thermal fluid together, um, and let's switch these three. Okay, so we can have one belt coming down the middle. Uh, yeah, so this is going to work out pretty nicely, actually. Um, obviously, we're going to have to have belts on the outside. And you know what? I think that we can even move this over, S save some room. Yeah, let's move it over. Might as well slam it up against this other one. Um, no reason not to. And then, um, you know what? We can we can get rid of that. How many does this need? Yeah, yeah. That only needs fast inserters for sure. And this makes one observation frame. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. And last but not least, right over here. Okay. Then we can throw down our other... I don't have scaffolds. That kind of stinks, but... Okay, so let's put this one down. Let's line it up exactly. And then this, we can put down here. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. This can power that. Uh, Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so this is obviously doing this. This is obviously doing this. These. Need that. Lots of speed modules in space. Not as many prod mods, unfortunately. But, okay, so this looks good. Um, yeah, so this is... 
obviously going to be this one. Coming in right over here. There we go. And this is going to be the other one. Let's... Yeah, let's... You know what? Let's keep these as close as possible. I think it's a little bit more space efficient to do it like this. It, it looks weird, but... Um, I think it's better to do it this way, just because now we have this open room here to do other stuff that we are going to need to do anyways. Um, I forgot all my astrometrics facilities that I made, man. Alright, we're just going to blueprint it and I'll have to grab them at some point. Because um, we're going to have to go down to the surface anyways at some point here, so it's fine. Uh, you know what, let's copy this. I just want to pull it over exactly. Pick that up. There we go. That doesn't reach, does it? Well, that, that does, though. That's fine. All right. Obviously, that that uh, recipe is gonna have to change, and we're gonna have to do some weird things for the output over here. Like, we're gonna have to do one belt here that comes over and. We can do it like this, right? That's fine. Um, and then we're gonna have to do another belt. We can do it right next door, right? Like this. All right, and that one's gonna be from our, whatever this is called again, I forget. All right. This one we're going to do a loader though because uh, it's pretty fast. Well, not really. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, actually, no, we're not. Ooh, we have to deal with scrap on this one. Do we have to deal with. Okay, we don't have to deal with any byproducts on those. This we have to deal with scrap a quarter of the time, um, which is a little bit of. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Um, we'll have this one filter on X ray, right? X ray? Yep. And. No. We'll have this one filter scrap. Scrap, there we go. Okay, that's fine. And then this will be scrap out. Very cool. Still have to deal with scrap um, for this square, because this makes scrap, right? Oh no, it doesn't. I thought it did. Is this literally the only thing that makes scrap? All these make scrap, okay. <laughs> cool. So dealing with the output of all those is gonna be fine. Um, all right. Next, uh, we need to do something like this. This is gonna be for all the blank data cards, right? Um, Cause these all need blank data cards uh, from all the experiments. So that'll work. And let's see, how quickly are these? Five seconds, and it needs one blank data card. Yes, these can just be um, fast inserters for sure. Okay, those are just fast inserters, um, and we're going to need long-handed inserters doing outputs probably. Um, but I've yet to figure that out. As for train stations, um, I have probably mentioned that I wanted to do train stations down here and like make a big train station area in this square. Uh, so many things to do, man, to get this going, but it's uh, getting there. Uh, we also still need to do super cool thermal fluid, right? Let's see if we can... <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do about super cool thermal fluid. We've, so we got that pretty much set up for microwaves and stuff. Also, let's grab these and finish that little process over there. In the meantime though, uh, let's just destroy our pipe usage once again. Uh, let's grab a bunch of scaffold. We're gonna have to place a huge air area over here. Oh, it's faster doing it this way, isn't it? Yep. Way faster doing it. Very slow walking on this platform. You get a speed uh, 
a speed penalty for walking on this platform. So yeah, it's pretty slow. Pretty slow going. All right, 1,600 more platform, let's go. Just fill this area in pretty much. All right, that's fine. That's going to have to be good. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to copy pasta. This. <laughs> we'll see how it works. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to change a few pipes and things. Obviously, but this should get built pretty quickly, I think. Okay, this. Oops. I don't know what I just did. I hope nothing. This is going to be obviously super cool thermal fluid now. Yay! Super cool thermal fluid. You'll love to see it. Super cooled. It's not really cool, it's super cool. Haha, I'm funny. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's grab some long, long pipes. To do this. That's too long. I'll put some of these down. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. There we go. Obviously, you still have a few pipes left to finish off. And this isn't working. Why? Oh yeah, no underground pipes. Okay, cool. Um, last but not oh, this needs to finish off underground piping. Very cool. Uh, we can do another one of these long ones down here. I think right. This can go here. It's a little bit confusing. Uh, this is here. There we go. Okay. This one... Dude, what is going on here? Oh, I need... Okay. More... This doesn't need to be an underground pipe. What am I doing? This just needs to be... This doesn't need to be either. Okay. There we go. We got a handful of things working. Um, this doesn't need to be an underground pipe either. None of these do. What am I doing? Why Why did I use so many underground pipes? I don't... My brain must have been, like, completely shut off when I was uh, build, doing this build because doing underground pipes for all these is just absolutely insane. Yes, I would like to use 20 pipes instead of two. <laughs> what was I thinking, man? That's so stupid. Okay. All right, let us uh, replace all of our pipes with uh, the three length pipes that take two instead of uh, 20. <laughs> and these, man, they can they can be different too. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, can only, I guarantee you that some people were just absolutely cringing when they saw that I did this. Um, and I am uh, currently cringing now. Uh, so this is uh, about a million times cheaper in terms of pipe usage. So if you guys are doing your own builds, um, especially in space where pipes are expensive, you should look to uh, use as few underground pipes as you possibly can. Unlike me, who looked, uh, I guess, to use as many as I could. That's at least what it looks like here. And there's even a perfectly spaced one too, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, where does this go? We gotta hook up the warm stuff again, right? Uh, this does need to be an underground because of the beacon, right? But not all of them do. Okay. This is like probably a hundred times cheaper, man. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
One of the amazing things about Factorio play players is that, you know, they love to work out inefficiencies and, you know, make the builds as efficient as possible. And for some reason, whenever I did this build, I was just like, yeah, nah, nah, I'm just gonna make it as inefficient as humanly possible. Okay, let's get rid of them. One more. One more. Man. <laughs> This build is way cheaper when you have only like five underground pipes per thing instead of ten. Okay, I think that's way better. Um, probably. And we still need to hook up the warm thermal fluid, which we can do like so, I think. Uh, we will use... Now, why use an underground pipe there when you can use regular pipes? That's the question, really. Okay, here we go. That's hooked up warm thermal fluid now. Uh, this warm thermal fluid over here is not hooked up. Not really sure where I can... Oh, I can do it right there. Nice! Okay, we're gonna do it right there. That is a single pipe as well, which is perfect. Yep, alright. Warm thermal fluid is hooked up for these things. Obviously, you just need cool thermal fluid coming in. Not 100% sure why this isn't working. Um, probably because I have the inputs wrong. Shoot! Oh, no, no, no. Damn it. Alright. I hooked up cool thermal fluid to this, and I shouldn't have. Nice. Okay, this is cool thermal fluid. This is the super cool thermal fluid. Okay. Then we'll just do this and pretend that I didn't make any mistakes, okay? Okay. There we go. Alright. Now, why is this one not working? Probably because I screwed up the underground pipes. Yep. Nice. Not sure how that happened. Are they screwed up over here? Alright guys, uh, looks like uh, I am officially done. <laughs> Alright, this is missing cryonite, which is here. Okay, that doesn't need to be undergrounded. What are these missing? Cool thermal fluid. Dude, did I really screw this up so badly? Did I really screw this up so badly? I have to double check my other build now because I feel like everything is actually messed up. Okay, this has everything output. Nice. Uh, we do need one more here. And one more here. Okay, cool. Alright. Alright. Now let's double check this. Dude, what was I thinking, man? None of these can even work. Oh my god. Literally none of these have been working the entire time. <clears throat> I've had these built for probably like 10 hours and none of them has ever worked. And I somehow never noticed. <laughs> that is incredible, but okay. And you know, we're gonna leave this build as is. Obviously, uh, we're gonna need more of these um, radiators, of course. We can't even speed them up right now because I don't, I'm out of speed modules once again, but yeah. So, anyways. Dude, I don't even know what's going on with these all these pipes, man. They're just like kind of everywhere and doing who knows what. Okay, and these have never worked either. <laughs> My goodness. My goodness. Okay, now I think they all could work, hypothetically. Hypothetically speaking, they could all work now. Okay, cool. So then if we can place uh, all of this stuff down, right? We could copy pasta, maybe? Copy pasta right here. Nice, and then this can be obviously uh, the cool stuff. 
Haha, <laughs> the super cool stuff, really. Uh, let's see. This can go right here. That actually works super nicely, in my opinion. Okay. So that's gonna be our super cool station. Haha, <laughs> super cool. Um, let's see. Do I have a train? No. Of course not. But I do have two wagons that I can't put in correctly. Classic. Um, okay, I need a little bit more scaffolding. I might as well grab a bunch of scaffolding uh, because we're going to have to add more for um, Astro Science anyways. So might as well grab it. Here we go. Uh, let's put this down right here. Here we go. This is obviously going to be super cool pickup, not just cool pickup. This is for the super cool train. Only the coolest of trains can come here. Okay, I'm done with that joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's make this, like, as blue as possible. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah. And this one is not even correct, right? Oh, it is correct. It's just the wrong color. Just make it a little bit more blue. It's like kind of a purple blue. Okay. And this... There we go. All right, very nice. So we've got super cool. Wow, I didn't realize that we had that much um, thermal fluid. Geez, seventy-two thousand super cooled. So obviously we we should be making more here shortly. Why are these all not working? Oh, they've never been hooked up. Okay, I need to stop, dude. What was I doing? Why do I have? Did I not place six telescopes? I didn't. All right. <laughs> This, I have to go places that I tell us go, man. Ah! All right, uh, let's see. What am I doing? Okay, that needs to be hooked up. <laughs> uh, this doesn't have a great way to be hooked up, uh, except for this, I guess. There we go. Uh, this needs to be replaced. Okay, what? What is this? What is going on today? My goodness, dude! All right, so all these are working now, or they should be shortly at least. Um, probably just can't make enough thermal fluid quickly enough, I would guess. Um, but once we start getting thermal fluid into the system, you know, it's gonna start getting recycled and stuff like that, and which we're gonna have to keep an eye on, you know, these numbers and stuff. Like, is this number? This number might not even be big enough, man. Like, we may need a couple tanks here um, to deal with all the warm thermal fluid coming back in. Not to mention that, like, these uh, processes produce warm thermal fluid as well. Like, we really have to be careful not to overdo it on making warm thermal fluid. I say that now, I'll probably run out, but... Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. This is outputting correctly, right? I think this system is just full, yeah. Which is cool. I'm cool with that. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, uh, let's, I guess, go fix this telescope, and then I think we're going to have to call it for today. Today's our episode is already super long. Um, and I, again, didn't get very much done, but I just... <laughs> just making all sorts of mistakes today. It's insane. Okay. Let's pick this up. Uh, let's see. Move this here. Uh, move this. That's gonna go here. Obviously, we're gonna have to move this now. Uh, this is gonna come out over here. There we go. Uh, drop this one on the near side. We don't have to worry about that over here, obviously, since it's e evenly distributed. Uh, let's put this, we can put this right over here. Put this right over here. Doot, doot. Okay. Now, of course, we need to at our um, X-ray telescope, which is going to go right over here. <clears throat> we can just put that... Uh, oh, let's put it right here so it fits within that. Very nice. Uh, this, we're going to have to split, which is fine. Uh, it should be able to be split pretty easily. And it's going to go... Let's switch this up. This is going to go here. Uh, I don't like any of it. Okay. That's gonna have to work. Okay. What does this need? 12, every 12, yeah, dude. These can be 
for sure be good enough. Um, and then we were gonna do this. We we're gonna do one, two out. Yeah, okay, just making sure what's going on. All right, so this one is gonna be uh, X-ray observation frames. This is gonna be scrap. If I can find it, there it is. Scrap, okay. That's scrap, we gotta deal with it still, um, but it's fine. And we're gonna <clears throat> have to hook up all of the thermal fluids and everything, but that is going to have to be next episode because today's episode is already super long. Plenty of mistakes today, I don't know what was going on. Um, my brain is like shut off or something. Who knows, but um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, watching me struggle through um, literally everything, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, so yeah, next episode, we're actually gonna finish off this build, um, hopefully. We have, so we have to do all the trains, uh, which is a decent amount of stuff. Like we gotta train in blank data cards and thermal fluid and cold thermal fluid and we have to train out warm thermal fluid um, and we have to tr make chemical gel or whatever, I don't know. We have to train in chemical gel. So yeah, we, we still have plenty of stuff to do. Um, but I'm hoping that once we get this done, then it's gonna be a great template to use for um, another uh, square. Like we can use pretty much the same template for like all the state uh, train stations and everything like that, which will make it super easy just to, you know, blueprint down, build, and then, you know, get to work on all the other ones. So I'm hoping that once we finish one, it should be easier for the rest. Um, obviously, we're still missing a bunch of modules and stuff like that. We'll fill those in as time goes on. But um, yes, yeah, so we have yet to finish, you know, a handful of these buildings. Um, then these buildings here that are doing the gravi gravity wave and gravitational lensing um, that take astrometric data. Um, and then we have to do the catalogs and then we have to do the actual packs, uh, which means we have to deal with the insight, um, but the insight is going to be a, a separate uh, square or grid square. So we're going to have to deal with, we're going to have to start making that. We also are going to have to make the uh, um, grid square to deal with all the junk data cards that are eventually going to come out of this uh, right here. Um, so still, you know, lots, lots to do before we can switch it on, but we're definitely making headway. And like I say, um, you know, once you get one thing done, um, everything else is going to be able to use that. And so it's going to make, you know, future things faster. So all the work that we're putting in now is going to um, make life, you know, down the line much, much, much easier. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit the like button. It really helps me out and uh, consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you all on the next episode.